Hey teachers, Ms. Artastic here, and if you are looking for some awesome back to school artworks for your classroom, I have a few new ones that I've added to my Teachers Pay Teacher store this year. is this lovely rainbow snake. So it's a great way to learn colors and also explore a couple different mediums. So with this one, we're going to be painting with our felt markers while we learn the different colors of the rainbow. And then we're going to use our soft pastels on a, the background to create another rainbow and while we learn about, again, the colors. So this is a great primary project that you can use for, I would say, um, grade one in one, two, three, around in that age group. And of course it makes a lovely rainbow art project, beautiful for bulletin boards and display for the beginning of the school year. Great way to introduce colors to kids. You can of course find the link to this resource in the description of this video. Now, if you have older kids, which a lot of us do, um, I have a couple different uh, art lessons. So the first one, is inspired by artist Yayoi Kusama. So this is my Yayoi Kusama inspired apple. And this one is using a couple different art mediums as well. It's a video art tutorial and so is the rainbow snake. So really, if you're needing a break from teaching in the beginning of the year or you just want to be able to have a second body, so me teach the lesson and then you go around and help the kids in your classroom, these are video tutorials and you can use them in two ways. One, you can use them to learn the project yourself and then demonstrate it in your classroom or you can play the video in your classroom and then pause it as you need to while you are zooming around the room, helping out kids in your classroom. So you're kind of supporting them and I'm teaching them and modeling parts of the lesson or we can both do it at the same time. Of course, these are video art lessons so it's flexible for how you use it. So check them out. Um, all the ones I'm showing in this video are all video art tutorials. And don't worry, I also provide the PDF that has your bulletin board display sign, your lesson plans, assessment rubric, reflection sheets, all that jazz is also included. So that's Yayoi Kusama. You can find this fabulous art resource. Um, the link to it in my Teachers Pay Teachers store is simply just down in the comments section or the description of this video. I'll have a link, direct link to it. Again, it comes with a PDF full of everything you need to teach the lesson. Again, including your bulletin board display sign, your assessment rubrics, your reflection sheets, and so much more. So our next one we're gonna take a look at is a fun one, especially if you have like upper elementary or middle school. This project is Surrealist School Supplies. So it's inspired by Salvador Dali. Um, it's a great way to introduce your kids to the style of surrealism and you can also talk about Salvador Dali and teach him if you want to try to use that as an artist hook um, and teach art history. Uh, but you can do it in a back to school theme with surrealist school supplies. So check out this fun art lesson. You can see um, very much in the style of Salvador Dali, Persistence of Memory, and you have a lot of choice in this art lesson so kids can kind of choose what they're going to include um, and then how they're going to create the elements kind of melting and folding and dissolving in this sort of surreal dreamlike state, right? Um, and then they can assemble it Again, following a video art tutorial in the style of Salvador Dali, back to school, surrealist school supplies. Again, perfect for your middle school students. And they also get to experiment both with drawing, so illustration, um, and also watercolor painting techniques to kind of like really hook their interests for back to school art, right? So you wanna really grab their attention, especially at the beginning of the year, you wanna really hook them on making art and this is a fabulous way to do that, just to kind of get them warmed up. And then of course, you can use this as an assessment to really observe and see where your upper elementary school or middle school kids are at, right? So do the art lesson. You can see both their painting skills and um, drawing skills. And then you can kind of see where they're at and what you, where you might need to take them um, through the year. So essentially it can form your um, year's long scope or your year program 
for the year, right? So what you observe your, skit, your kids doing is going to tell you a lot about the direction you need to take them as a teacher, right? So that's why formative and summative assessment is so very important. If you wanna learn more about that, always make sure that if you're an art teacher, join the Artastic Collective membership. Enrollment is open right now, um, only in the month of August, not all the way to the end. So you gotta make sure that you join uh, because time is running out. So if you are looking for a complete program, a complete art curriculum, make sure that if you're an art teacher, you need to join the Artastic Collective membership. You'll get all these art lessons included um, over time. It's a pay-as-you-go system, so make sure you check it out. Otherwise, if you just want to grab this art lesson description, find that link to the Surrealist School Supplies art project down there. All right, uh, finally, the last one is this name, Back to School Art Project. If you're especially um, just looking for something that'd be great for a bulletin board display at the beginning of the year, you're a general elementary school teacher, whatever, explore some name art. It's always a perfect go-to for the beginning of the year. This one's going to really just give them a sense of uh, creating some box letters, obviously in their name, um, and then some aspects of their identity around it. So you can really just, again, use it as assessment for seeing where they're at and where you need to start with them in your year, um, where you might be taking them next based on what you see here, what they can and can't do. Um, but also it's going to allow you to get to know your students. I highly recommend that you take some time, really get to know them, study their artworks and what they have written here, especially sit down with them as they are creating this. Again, it's a video art tutorial. So you could either do the lesson yourself and teach it or play it in your classroom when you uh, get it off of TPT or even with your membership. So the Artastic Collective membership. Um, but if you're doing the video art tutorial and you're playing it in your classroom, it's actually gonna give you an opportunity to help the students again and float around your classroom and see what they're doing, um, support them as they go, but you can also sit down and talk with them um, in between pausing and playing the video um, and just get to know them, right? So some people are worried about trying to remember kids' names and all that stuff like that, learning kids' interests. Well, the best way to do that is sit there and talk with them. Um, you can associate their name, and their face, and memorize that. I try to do that a lot myself because I'm just a visual learner like that. And then um, talk to them about what they're writing, what they're drawing in the background to do with their identity, and just really use this opportunity to get to know your kids for back to school, to really build that connection and set yourself up for success for a fabulous school year. Okay, so again, let's take a look at some of the new art resources. Let's just go over them again. So again, the first one is this lovely rainbow snake artwork. Okay, learning your colors, perfect for primary, getting to know um, what your primaries kind of can't do, and really getting them to experiment with um, some new art mediums. Totally fun, great for learning colors. Uh, the second one again was, yeah, like Kusama's apple. All right, so, uh, an apple in the style of Yayoi Kusuma's patterns, contrast, all that jazz. Again, description of this video, you can find this art lesson. You got your Surrealist School Supplies, fabulous for your upper elementary or middle school kids. Great to see where they're at. Um, and just really ask them to be creative this year by applying this lesson in your classroom. Or again, if you wanna learn a little bit more about who your kids are, do a name art lesson. It is a great strategy for getting to know who your kids are, um, finding out their interests, who, who they are, um, and then just allowing yourself a little bit of time and opportunities to um, build that ever so important connection with them. That's the basis, uh, basic part of uh, classroom management, right? So classroom management always begins with building a relationship with your students. The greatest way to do that and start that process is by just talking with them, hanging out with them, sitting down at their tables. You can even be drawing and doing your own name art lesson. So you could be creating your own and going around, taking it with you to each table where the students are working. You could be working on yours so they can get to know you but also you can open up that conversation and get to know them as well. I think that's super, super important, um, especially with anybody who's a reluctant art learner. This is a great way in, okay? It's not going to be the last time that you do this. 
It's just the starting point for getting to know the kids in your classroom. I'm Ms. Artastic. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, find those resources in the description of this video, and let's make some art. I'm Ms. Artastic, and that's the end of this episode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, and for more art lessons, 100 exclusive art lessons, make sure that you check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. The link is in the description of this video, and it's 100 exclusive drawing tutorials, premium drawing tutorials for kids. You can use it as a course for at home if you're a kid. You can follow along with any medium or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom for obviously an entire year because you have 100 drawing videos to choose from for your classroom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment with ideas for things that you want me to draw in future drawing tutorials. I'm always open for ideas so comment with things that you want me to draw and let's make some art.